What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the American alligator. And we're also gonna give you guys an update on US Arc, their fight with Florida, Florida legislators to, you know, keep our rights. All right, guys, so as you know, we have been on this constant battle to keep our reptiles, to keep our rights, to have and own these animals. And this is why we made these shirts. This shirt was made by us and you could purchase it through our website and all the proceeds are going to US Arc Florida to fight for the rights of, you know, that we have to keep these animals because FWC and the state of Florida are constantly trying to pull back and take away some of the animals we could own because they think it's going to be better for the ecosystem. And this shirt here, uh, this was actually designed by a friend of ours, Joshi. And I'm not sure if you could still get it. I know uh, US Arc was actually selling this, this t-shirt, but I'm not actually sure if you could still get them. But either way, um, even if you don't, you know, want a t-shirt or anything, if you could just donate to US Arc Florida, especially if you're in the state of Florida, guys, these people are working day and night and they're working for free, basically. Every cent that goes into that uh, nonprofit organization is going to help us fight, keep these animals. And one of the other animals that we wanted to talk to you guys about was the Diamondback Terrapins. It's one of our favorite turtle species ever and FWC now wants to ban them like they want to do with the iguanas and the tegus and obviously we don't want that to happen so we actually wanted to show you guys two of our diamondback terrapins the only two we got and we wanted to talk to you guys about them actually in the state of Florida as of right now you're only allowed to have two of these guys yeah so essentially you can't eat like you can't even breed them because if you do breed them you would have to destroy the eggs so there's um so these guys are kind of uncommon, even though they're a super easy little turtle. Yeah, and they're they're diamond back terrapins, diamond back because they get they have this cool, really cool shell pattern on the back, which we'll show you right now. And terrapins because they are actually they actually live in brackish water, so they could they could swim in in salt water, they could swim in in fresh water, and that makes them pretty unique. So these are two little diamond back terrapins that we have here. Joe and Schmo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. We haven't named them. We haven't named but them. But they're really, really cool little uh, turtles. And obviously, we keep them like any other slider. Basically, we have them outside here and in, in this little tub with, you know, the water. We have some. What are these little pants called again? I don't remember their exact name, but they're kind of like a water lettuce where they kind of just hang out on the top of the water and float. And yeah. actually, these terrapins actually i've been going to town on these guys so they've been eating that a lot wow. uh, aside from that you know we, we feed them the turtle pellets and, and blood, worms. Uh, blood worms they like but they're very simple little turtle to keep and they're actually the most interactive turtle we've ever worked with yeah they'll actually they're very bold they're not like a slider who a lot of times especially when they're young they'll cut as soon as they see you they'll go underwater and swim away as yeah. fast as possible these, these kind of guys will just look at you yeah they'll look at you linger and then wait for you to feed them and and that's probably one of the reasons why they are they're they're vulnerable here in the state of florida um there's five species that are in the state of florida and three of the or not species, subspecies. And three of those subspecies are endemic to Florida, so they're only found here. And that's one of the reasons why they're, you know, easy for predators to catch or poachers or anything like that because they're very bold and they don't, they're not necessarily spooked very easy. So it's, you know, easy to collect them or to, for a predator to go ahead and snatch it. And actually some of these guys are protected in the wild because their populations have been declining. Yeah. But if you ask us in our opinion and what has been shown, a great way to help manage wild populations is with captive breeding. And uh, like I, we mentioned before, as of right now in the state of Florida, that's not really technically allowed because we're yeah. only allowed to have two at a time, um, which, you know, that takes a pair to produce. And yeah, you you know, you have any eggs that's going to be more. So you have to destroy them legally. So, guys, what's important about this that we're telling you is that if you are a fan of these animals, if you're an enthusiast of ter terrapins and all these, not just terrapins, any other turtle, because 
basically everything can be invasive here in Florida. We plead that you please send FWC a letter, an email, a, give them a call, talk to them, your, 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 you know, your legislators. your legislators, make sure your voices are heard. Really, it takes two minutes to go and send them an email. It takes two minutes, five minutes to give them a call and to let them know that we are here and we there's a, there's people that are passionate about these animals and we're responsible keepers and we're not gonna just let these animals loose or I mean in this case it wouldn't be the worst thing ever but we're not out here we're not criminals we're not gonna go collect them from the wild and 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 keep and sell them this is not what we do we want to have these animals we want to keep them legally we want to breed them we want to be able to reproduce them and enjoy them because this is what how we make a living so make sure you're supporting us arc florida if it's if you don't know how to send an email if you don't know how to find your legislators and talk to them and give them a call the least you could do is follow us arc florida they have a facebook page they have an instagram page they have a website you could donate to them and every penny that you donate to them will go for them to fight for our animals and it's really important because they're understaffed, you know, they're they're overworked and there's a lot of a, a big fight ahead of us. It's not just about the iguanas, about the tegus, about the Burmese pythons, about the terrapins, the reticulated anacondas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're going to keep coming after more and more. Not too long ago, they were already talking about bearded dragons. Bearded dragons, like everybody's favorite lizard pet. Imagine if they get outlawed. It I will literally leave the state of Florida. I will not give Florida any business I don't want to live in, a, in in this state if that's the case so um, please make sure you support them it's the most important thing that we could do as Florida residents that are in this hobby and yeah any other words for them and the bearded dragon thing that's just because they have the potential to live outside here you can make that argument for every and any animal so if if that's the standards well we're gonna start banning animals in this state then they're gonna go after every single creature. So, like I said, guys, keep up to date. Like David said, keep up to date, stay informed, write letters, donate. If you can't donate, you know, just stay in the loop. It's very important to know, to let them know where we stand and that we're not gonna let them take away our animals, these incredible animals that we get to work with every day. All right, so being a Florida resident, one of our like statewide animals that we all love is the alligator. Alligator Mississippinensis? Mississippiensis. Mississippiensis. So alligators are some of the most prehistoric, awesome reptiles in the world right now. They're obviously a crocodilian and they're obviously native here to Florida and the southeast of the United States. Now there's only two species of alligators and that is the American alligator, which is what you see right here, and then the Chinese alligator, which is from China. China. Um, the cool thing about these little guys is that they're their hatch they hatch pretty much about this size a little bit smaller even you see it you hear that sound that it's making that sound is the sound they make when they are calling their mother when they're in distress so this guy's a little bit stressed right now but we're you know able to show you guys him and try to talk to you guys and, and teach you guys about him thanks to our friend Louis at birds and exotics of the world and yeah you want to say something about him um, they're actually a very, very smart lizard. Boy, it's a real lizard. reptile. <laughs> but but um, as you, like our friend was showing us, you can actually train these guys very yeah. cool to respond to uh, vocal commands. Yeah, like, and the sky's the limit with these guys. We're used to working, you know, with crested gecko, stuff that's not the brightest. But um, just, you know, working a little bit with these guys, you can tell they're very smart. They're And obviously they get very big. Yeah. So this isn't a pet for everybody, yeah, but no, it, people who like really spe could specialize with these guys, man oh man do they make incredible animals, incredible the way they hunt, the way they behave, just the way they look, like David was mentioning, that is a dinosaur. When we think of dinosaurs, we think of alligators and crocodilians. Yeah, I mean, uh, alligators are definitely not pets or anything, or I wouldn't say crocodilians should be any pet, but they are good for education like we're doing here. This guy um, is just a baby, so it's not a big problem to house them or anything. But um, it's it's you know they're they're amazing animals, and when we understand a lot of the little features that this animal has, um, we could appreciate them a little bit more. Like for example, 
Um, they have all these little black dots on the bottom of their teeth or on the bottom of their jaw and around their mouth. And those are actually, those work as sense, sensors. So if anything comes close to them in the water, they're able to just snap at them real quick. They also have like the ability, they have like a, a second eyelid, which they could, it's like a transparent eyelid that they could keep underwater. That way water doesn't go in their eyes. Yeah, it's like goggles, Yeah, like for snorkelers, like same, same concept. And you see when they're underwater, that little eyelid comes down and so their eye looks a little bit cloudier than normal and then as soon as they get back in the water that eyelid rolls back up it's they have their own built-in water goggles yeah and obviously at this size the bite is not going to really kill you or anything or be deadly but when they do get large and they get very large they can grow up to like a foot a year um an alligator even a two foot alligator could do a lot of damage so like we said it's not a pet it's just an animal that could be used for educational purposes or you know zoos will have them or, or gatorland florida shout out to them but um it's a very you know very very interesting animal and definitely if you've been to florida you've heard about the horror stories of people <laughs> walking their dogs yeah. near the water when you think of florida you think of american alligators because yeah. they're literally in every single canal you walk by and florida has millions and millions of canals but most of the time you know they're just gonna leave you alone they're more scared of you of than you know you are of them so you know just if you do come across them in the wild just kind of give them their space let them yeah. be yeah a misconception is that an alligator is you know out for blood and it's going to come kill you no it's not it's if you see a gator and you back up it's not going to come after you it's they're 99 percent of the time they are you know scared of you they don't want anything to do with you and they'll actually move away from you animals most of the time if you corner them and you go after them that's when they'll they'll you know attack quote unquote yeah. attack they they'll be just, defensive they'll be defensive exactly but amazing animal um definitely one of florida's most you know like iconic iconic animals and it's it's a treasure for florida for sure and we're lucky to be able to teach you guys about these guys all right guys that wraps up another episode of tiki's geckos and make sure you know if you like our content make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms we got it all individual content on every single one of them instagram snapchat twitter facebook TikTok. we got it all make sure you follow us and also guys make sure you follow us arc best way to keep up to date with everything that's going on with the florida laws the florida Look at this legislator this is a sick t-shirt man I wonder who made it. <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Thank you for the support. We love y'all. Bye.